Hello everyone, welcome to this series of video notes on development of geographical thought, its methods and methodologies. Today, we are exploring the quantitative revolution in geography. So, join us as we unravel the quantitative revolution in geography, history of its development, key contributors to it, and its impact on geographical studies. The quantitative revolution in geography refers to a paradigm shift in the mid-20th century where the discipline embraced a more scientific and quantitative approach. It sought to apply mathematical models and statistical methods to analyze spatial patterns and processes. The key facets include a focus on measurable data, the use of spatial analysis and the application of scientific methods to understand geographical phenomena. Emerging in the early 50s of last century, the quantitative revolution was a response to the perceived limitations of the descriptive and regional approaches dominating geography. Influenced by advancements in mathematics, statistics and technology, geographers aimed to bring rigor and objectivity to their field. Quantitative methods were applied to a wide range of geographical studies, including urban planning, land use, environmental analysis, and regional development. Geographic Information Systems, GIS, also emerged during this period, revolutionizing the way spatial data is collected, analyzed, and visualized. The quantitative revolution marked a pivotal moment in geography, transforming it into a more systematic and empirical science. Prominent contributors to the quantitative revolution include William Bunge, Waldo Tobler, and William Garrison. Bunge emphasized spatial analysis. Tobler pioneered the application of computers in geography, and Garrison promoted the use of mathematical models. However, it is essential to acknowledge the criticisms and limitations of the quantitative revolution in geography. Critics argue that the quantitative revolution oversimplified complex geographical phenomena, neglecting qualitative aspects. Some claimed it alienated geographers from real-world contexts, reducing the discipline to mathematical exercises. Others argued that it failed to address humanistic and cultural dimensions. While quantitative revolution faced criticisms for its reductionism, it undeniably advanced the field's analytical capabilities. Subsequent developments in geography have embraced a more balanced approach, integrating qualitative and quantitative methods to achieve a more comprehensive understanding of spatial dynamics. And there you have it, a brief exploration of the quantitative revolution in geography. If you enjoyed this video note, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more content and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring the world around you. Thanks.